The Army's Virtual Proving Ground, or VPG, is a synthetic environment that's used for experimentation. It allows us to conduct experimentation in a virtual world or a synthetic environment, which allows us to break things, repeat things, uh, conduct things that we can't do um, for real, whether that's um, permitted by cost, resource, reality or prototypes. By grabbing the live technologies shown here at Cofield Down and grouping them together and representing it in the virtual environment in order to exploit the evidence and research that is unavailable to the live experimentation. So the VPG is providing the Army Warfare experiment with the ability to scale up experimentation that we cannot do in the physical environment. What we're able to do is take soldiers out of the physical environment, put them in a virtual environment, and then operate without distraction. We'll be generating evidence which will complement the evidence that we produce through physical experimentation. What that will give us is a, a deeper level of understanding of the capabilities that we're exploring. Uh, so a unique opportunity to get credible, validated evidence to enable people to make decisions on should a capability move forward or not. We're also able to take the quality of insight, so grabbing the information from the users and really understand what it is that they are wanting, what is their requirements and any sort of considerations or feedback and we're able to take that back to the lab and uh, analyse it further. A lot of the concepts and capabilities that are being looked at are being controlled by the OEM or industry, showcasing their capability or illustrating what effect they could have in the battlefield. What Virtual Proving Ground does, it gives the end user an opportunity to stress test and break it and to push these systems to what they think they can use them for, which will generate key user requirements the British Army can consider for future development. So what does that capability mean for the future soldier? Instead of waiting for something to go to a prototype or demonstrator or to go into a production line, there's a unique opportunity to answer questions now that the British Army would have had to wait to 2030 to answer.